Hi aunties, welcome to another video. This has kind of been like the series of the new bunk beds, hasn't it? Um, so this thumbnail was the when we made the bunk beds, we went and got the wood, we made the bunk beds. Um, so that's already been posted. And then we had the video of um, like sorting the beds and everything out. But I think I've used the wrong picture thumbnail here, but never mind, because this was like, this picture here should be for this video. Doesn't matter though, does it? Anyway, we were getting the beds ready. Um, again, so she is, it's been a long process. Here it's we not are. that much lower than um, Emma Jane's either. She, you can't even see her, can you? She looks so cosy. And there are you hiding? See, I love it. Yeah, they all like being snuggly like mummy. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, my eczema is itchy today. I'm obviously eating stuff that does not agree with me. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I've got lots and lots of DVDs. I think I'm going to put them right at the top there. Now we don't have anything up there. So I'll just push them there for now. We have a DVD player, a little like lap one that goes on your lap, but they haven't asked for any of that lately since they've been here. There's something else up there. I'm just going to get my little stool. I can reach that. Quite a warm day today outside. It was really windy yesterday. Really windy and rainy. Well, they did get out. Well, it was Tuesday yesterday, so people got out. What is there? of Disney DVDs. Nobody really plays Disney DVDs now, do they? Because you have like Disney Plus or or all sorts of telly. And we did used to have them a lot playing. Oh, that's nice warm. It's setting off my eczema being so warm. Okay, let's see what way around these beds can go. Ay, 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 ay. I'm going to come down a little bit. You're on, the, you're on the little tripod, not the big one that kept, I kept losing the other day. How are you all anyway? Oh, you're on a bit of a slant. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have to watch you like that. I've got so many little jobs I want to get done. It's just having the energy these days to do it. Um, right, let's have a look at how the beds are going to look. Because I do think that Annie would benefit from having one at, her, one at the bottom of her bed so that her toys can rest against it. And then... One here. And I suppose I could get just about get through there, can't I? Well, Caroline, that's um I can't just get through here. <laughs> There's me going, ah, oh, I could just get about get through here. No, Caroline, you can't just get through there. Um but I don't think I need that one. Leave 
that there. And I'll bring you over this way a bit. Because Annie did have her bits of stuff there in the windows as well. I mean, that can just stay in the window. She'll just have to ask me when she wants it. Which she does do anyway. Let's um, maybe pick it up there a bit. That's better. There you go. Now you can see a bit down there. It's so good having uh, the wheels. This is Timothy. So, oh, but I think I will put little Miss, little Miss in here when her pillow dries. Um, I don't think I've got any more um, cushions that fit this. Most, uh, not cushions and um, blanket um, sheets. Most of my sheets fit. Um, Prams or Moses baskets. No. Maybe. Nope. That's a vintage one. Nope. The one that's fit on here now just about fits, so I do need some more. These are all pram ones, so really these need to go down to hillside. Oh. Actually, when I bring them up, that's when I when I bring them up. When I bring the prams up from hillside, that's kind of like when I change them. Change the pram over to what colour are that I like. Oh, this is a vintage one. Oh, that one can go in there then. It's got, um, it's a flannelette one. And it's got butterflies and things on it. That'll go in there. This one, see, only just went, only just fitted on it. Wash in. Do you want to see it a bit more? Can you remember this? Can't remember where. I think they were from Boots. They were from Boots or Mother Care. Mother care. Kinder Valley, the duvets, the um, sleep, the, the mattresses that I've got on here. Um, but I think they're O oh Baby mattresses, I think. Oh, let's put the brake on while I make it. Well, you've got to put the brake on all four wheels, haven't you, to stop it from moving. Not just one, Caroline. But it's so good having wheels as you can move them around. And you've seen me move them around loads in the nursery. I do prefer fitted sheets, don't you? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, Mum? What are you doing? There we go. Got and got brakes on two wheels, I believe. I think looking at it now. Um, so this one is going to be for Polly. Because I just know that Timothy will be being a little tight and will be climbing in there. I just I just know it. I just know that's what he will be doing. Well, this is super soft. I got a done now. For Missy, I'm not sure what sort of thing she's gonna like. Really? Timothy might not be very happy that I've swapped his pillows around. Oh cut this one off as well. Don't copy me. Don't cut your labels off, you know. Just keep your eye on them. <laughs> but mine are only for the for the dolls, so 
that's fine. There we go. And then the pillowcase will be later from out of the wash. Now then, she did have a pink blanket that she liked. Oh, I think I'm just going to nip and find the pink blanket. I think it's on the pram push chair in the dining room. Yes, it was Auntie's. And Mummy found a Polly. <laughs> so we found a Polly and a little Polly. Here's your new bed. Hey, you don't have to share anymore. Oh, you want to lie down straight away, do you? So Polly likes this blanket. I did buy some soft ones, but she is not amused with the soft ones. So, listen, I don't tuck them in. Don't tuck them all around them because they're not babies, so they can move. They'll be fine. Yeah. We've got to find you a teddy bear now, haven't we? You like te Oh, I've left probably left that teddy bear in there that you like as well. But you do like this one as well, don't you? You do like this little jelly cat. It's a little jelly cat. You can have the jelly cat. So, I'm so chuffed. Now Polly has her own bed. Let's just shut this sun back up. I'm not so sure about keeping all that stuff up in the window because of Timothy. Not so sure, aunties. Yeah, see both the straps, both the things are on on this one and now it doesn't move. Look. <laughs> Got really yank it. That's got a storage box underneath. I don't think that'll go under Rannies. I think it's going to be too high to go under the bunk beds. I think I've looked in that before. Might be alright if I lift it up. I'll lift it up, honey, and then I'll put it in because the slats are up higher. There we go, that one went under there. That was the clothing that I had from um, Felicity and Rosie. So the newborn clothes and three to six month clothes, like I had a lot of vintage stuff that I want to keep. So can you remember I put it in that flat box? So I had to lift the bunk bed up for it to go underneath, which is fine because the slats are up a little bit higher than the bottom. So it fits, so that's good. It's not wedged in there, Auntie's. Annie's absolutely fine. It's not wedged in there. Oh, I'm so chuffed. Right, let's see. That's to Timothy's. This is Timothy's. This is Toby's. Toby's into trucks and cars, in case you didn't know by now. Trucks, cars, farms. Of course, because we're right by the farm. So to get Toby used to being, um, like that he's going to be in a cot without sides and that, he has been sitting up in Frankie's cot, reading with Frankie, you know, so I can just get him used to that. Oh, there's another one of Annie's, another one of Annie's, another one of Annie's, another one of Annie's, and Toby's. Found some more of yours, Annie. I did. And some more of your Toy Stories and your people. And another blanket. There we go. That's Timothy, super cool boy from Auntie Terry. We also just had another card from Auntie Terry. Thank you very much, Auntie Terry. I won't leave those clackers up there because I know what he's like. These. Timothy is eyes in the back of your head, child. 
God, I have eyes in the back of your head, Mum. Peekaboo, that's Toby's. That's Toby's hat, but I think I'll keep it out of there for now. I don't want it to get damaged. It already looks a bit, a bit creased there. There's a fire engine. I'll have to pack the toys away in a minute. And books, things we like, dig, dig, digging. That's uh, Timothy's book. Gosh, Timothy. <laughs> Timothy needs to be confined in a small bed because he has so much stuff in his bed. I mean, I'm surprised he can fit in his bed, to be honest. Oh, Rescue Cheap, I think that's Toby's. Oh, I can see a blanket down there. Miss. I'm just putting these over here so I can finish putting uh, Timothy's bed up. Oh, my face feels a bit funny. See, another one in his, in his bed. That is Mr. Timothy for you. Right, let's put that sheet in here. What's that sheet? That's a green sheet. Anybody see the green sheet for Mama? Oh, there it is, bright green. She can't even miss it. Oh, I don't know if you'd be a wild chuff with this. What seat size is this? This is Lee and Town Times Golden dot com. It is muslin, like a muslin material. That's why it looks creased. It's not. It's not creased because it needs ironing. It's or it's a like a cheesecloth. No, it's not because that's a bit thicker. It's kind of like a muslin, soft muslin material. Oh, goodness, Mum's done this wrong, I think. Um, so that's why it's creased. It doesn't, you may think it needs an iron, but it's one of those you can't iron. Well, you can iron it, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look any different when you've ironed it. See, it's quite big. It's a cot bed size, so these aren't cot beds. These are little beds. There we go. We are getting there. We're winning, I think. Um, pillow, 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 pillow. I don't know if he's got a smaller pillow, so he's got to wait for his pillowcase. This is his blanket with dinosaurs on. This is the blanket that he loves. Timothy likes to be wrapped up in love. So he can have that one. Toby can have a blanket on the side. I do like to give all the kids a blanket on the side. And then if they get a bit chillier in the night, they can just pull their blanket down. Mm -hmm. Not sure Timothy's gonna like that because it's not very padded now. So we will see. I didn't like the pillow before because it was so massive anyway. Put all of his dinosaurs away. You want to see how we're getting on? Okay, sorry aunties, but now you're on the floor. Well, we figure out how all these boxes can all go back in. Look 
put that one behind you, Missy. And then we've got all these play, play mats you can go up there. Excuse me. And we've got this. This needs to find another home outside of this one. This is another play, a play mat. Uh, right, so I had lots of room to put things underneath before because I had the extra extra space. So these Peter Rabbit boxes, they've got like cute Peter Rabbit bits and bobs in. <laughs> really, really cute stuff. which I will have shown you before, but if you do want to see, just leave a comment below and we'll do it on another day. If you do want to see, the, it's, usually, it's mostly like plushy things or little baby items. Oh look, they fit, they're perfect. And these boxes got from um, the works here in the UK, um, but years ago. If you've been watching me for a long time you will have known i got these years ago so they've got a peter rabbit stuff in and then this has got all the christmas clothing in and that's going to go under timothy's bed and i think that's everything that needs to go under I'm just not working today. So today I'm filming this on Wednesday and oh yeah. Always have a day out of the house on a Tuesday. And that was a busy, busy Tuesday yesterday for me. Wow, I'm chuffed with that. Oh, look at that extra floor space that that's made. Look at that extra floor space for their little ride-ons. All right, let's get back up here and have a look then. So we've got these ride-ons now. They can ju they'll just go up against here. That's Annie's bag. Now this usually goes in her, the bottom of her thing. They all have like a little rucksack. Um, Annie's is always packed up with all her Toy Story bits and bobs. So just leave that there for a minute. I'll just put this as Toby's. Well, it is Toby's. Toby had it. Oh, there it is. Toby had it for Christmas, but um, but you know, he shares it with everybody else, really. What you might prefer to see turned around. Missy likes this. Missy in here likes this. And what I've decided to do is because I need to somewhere store this, and I'd rather it get stored. She looks really comfy under there, and I was going to put it underneath her, but I got a feeling. I know it's a pram one, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be hidden. I think I'm going to put that underneath Timothy's pillow because Timothy has been used to his high up pillow. So I think I'm just going to put it in there. Then I can get it out when I want. Missy looks quite happy in her bed there, doesn't she? She looks quite happy in her new bed. I know she does need something else. So maybe she needs a little toy on the side. I do have a Peter Rabbit thing, actually. I could just hang on the side. In the boxes that I've just put underneath. These are the spare storage boxes. Um, mm -hmm. I think they'll fit under Timothy's bed, I think. And then that's the ride on that Annie had for Christmas. Timothy used to have a scuttlebug. He actually didn't like it that much, I think. Oh, yes, nice. So, also, guys, these beds make good storage underneath. <laughs> and then... We've got the two chairs in here. Missy's got her pram, which is that's for washing. Not my cardigan. She's she'll moan, won't she, if she knows. I think I must have turned you off. I don't know. Might not have even been in recording. We'll find out when we do this. That's my sheepskin. That came down from up from hillside. So I bought that at one of the um Actually, Rebecca could probably use that. Jack will be... Jack's going to be born... Well, no, he's not going to... He's due. <laughs> he's due. Um, in August. So it depends what the weather... You know, sometimes we have nice autumn weather for quite a long time. So he might never, never need that. But you never know. He might. 
Then I've got this. This came out of the big cot. This is a bumper cot bumper, but they don't use them today. Um, this was a really good make, actually. I got it for a really bargain price. Um, LOD details, Sweden. And I think I got it for a good price because obviously they don't they don't encourage them, you know, they advise against them in baby's cots today. So why have you got Cleo? You know you're gonna start a row if you put Cleo in your in your little thing, matey. Timothy's a little tyke, I tell you. Anyway. A little tyke, like the little tykes we've got here. Oh yeah, I was trying to pack the toys away. The boys' toy box is just expanding. So, let's have a look at that. Here, yeah, look at that. It's expanding. Okay, so I'm in here and I'm going to do the bunk beds now because I've bought new sheets for the two girls, these bigger bunk beds. I've um, got the girls some pink ones. Yes, my girls definitely do like colours, particular colours, you know. Oh, that's Annie. I don't know if Annie will want that. That's her book. Oh. So first of all, the way I clean up things is to take things off. So I'm going to take all of these off. I do have, so the new sheets I want to get washed and dried. Frankie's at school. Emma Jane is at nursery. So we are okay there. So hopefully I can get them washed and dried before they get back. Oh, I tell you. My kids have just got so much stuff always piled on the bottoms of their beds. And I do have the new um, pillowcases for um, Polly and Toby. White pillowcases for now until I get to see something else that I fancy for Tobes. And um, look at that. That's all off of Frankie's bed. This dog here, this um, dog. Yeah, Dalmatian was my youngest daughter's. <laughs> so um, there we go. You come here as well. Right, so they've got cot size bedding on. And these are the bunk beds that Russ made first. Because Frankie needed somewhere to go. This never clips on very well, this, this clippy thing. Either that or this is a mum error and Frankie already had it open. No, it's going to lift up again, I'm sure. Let's just, hopefully it's okay. Um, oh, she's got two pillows on her bed. I could have used one of them, Frankie. And, um, oh, she's got two mattresses. I think Emma Jane's only got one. Yeah, I'm not sure why Frankie's got two mattresses. Can't remember. It's probably in one of my other videos from years ago because we've had these bunk beds for years. Um, yeah, I don't know. Get that in the wash. There's the other one. See, so yeah, it gives her a little lift, a little higher bit there. If she's in there, maybe that's why, because she don't really like it. I don't know, I can't remember. I think they probably just came off of them. Um, set of bunk beds. Shall I keep that one on then? Well, I could do with a wash. Anyway, make them all nice and fresh. So, that's that. I'll take the duvet cover off, take the pillowcases off. And then this is little Missy's bed. Her with all of her dollies everywhere. I mean, you know, she's nothing like her mum, really, is she? <laughs> What's she got in here? Oh, my goodness, all sorts of things in there. You know, what is that? Usually, when I look through Emma Jane's stuff, I usually... What's that? 
Oh, a little teddy bear outfit. I usually find bits from, you know, our our collections. So like bottles, dummies. I usually find all sorts. And don't worry, Auntie, she can't get into the sockets. The sockets are got things attached to it. Oh my goodness. It's another mess to clean up. That's another fine mess you got me into. <laughs> so she's got one of these triangle pillows here, look. She loves it. And then let's do her mattress. This is her little shelf area. That's her little mattress. I think these mattresses don't fit as well. I think we measured them, but when Grumpy made them, they didn't measure, they didn't fit quite as well. But anyway, right, there we go. I can't come back now until I've got the, the um, bits washed. So we'll see you later. There we go. So everything is, everything has been washed and ironed. Now, get the sheet on and let's see if I put it on one so both of the mattresses on this bed. <laughs> I have no idea. I wonder if it's just because I had a spare one. Oh, oh no, I've already put it over <laughs> one. Oh, I hope these sheets fit up. Goodness. That'll be my poor... Oh, yeah. I think they're just about fit. That'll be my poor measuring, if not. Oh, no, I don't think... <laughs> I think they're a bit small. Oh, they'll be all right. Just give it a bit of space out there. There we go. And... Put, um... And the jade's on. Now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. His unicorn one isn't dry yet. I just hope, um, hopefully, it'll be dry. When she gets, by the time she gets home, how did this fit in here before? <laughs> one pillow fit in here before. Don't feel like it fits now. <laughs> uh, where's Frankie's here? Where's her little doggy to dog? Maybe that went up. That one in there? Goodness, I'll have to watch my own videos. <laughs> Put fluff on them. Frankie said she didn't mind if I sorted her room out a bit, her bed out a bit. 
but really I don't know what I meant to do because you know she loves all her stuff so um, maybe I'll take her car off <laughs> oh my goodness auntie she has got so much stuff oh lost that I'll go back in there that one up there that was the one from the charity shop she definitely needs to keep her worry monster up here she told me she definitely needs to keep him up there and this comes out of this 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 is like wrapped in this bag but she does love these she loves anything little and then this is the one that she had these little ones for Christmas, didn't she? This is a girl's asleep. It's just what about if I put her dog at the bottom of her bed? No, she likes her dog beside her. Okay, so worry monster there. I mean, I'm surprised these kids can even get in there. But maybe maybe I ought to do that with her dog because his paws can go out from underneath the bed. And then I could put her other one there. This girl is lying down asleep, and then I could put the car over here. Yeah, up here where the low dolls are of hers and my collection. And she can just get that then when she wants to play. I think that is a better idea. I'm just trying to stand a lot low doll up over here, aunties. I'm not convinced she's going to stand. Yes, she is, but not for how long. Oh, there's one of her babies. I mean, she's got long legs, so maybe that one ought to go there. She's got long legs. She can pick you up, can't she? Just to cuddle. You see, I've put her dog here. And then all of these bits there. And I know she's going to want um, it back as much as I can like it. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe the cat can go there. I mean, she has to have this beside her, apparently. You know, we all like our little bits. We all have our little ways, don't we? And that is one of Frankie's things. There are things at the bottom of the bed. But, you know, I don't know how she... Mind you, she doesn't lie flat. She sits up a bit, so she doesn't lie flat. Maybe that's how she fits in. Whatever. I have to do what I'm told, aunties. I have to do what I'm told. <laughs> Kids, eh? Well, I did ask them both if they wanted these to put back on their beds or did they want me to just put um, um, blankets like the others have and it's no, they want these. So there we go. Annie says she wants a basket like um, Emma Jane. Put all our bits in. Right. Emma Jane, if I put that over there, that kind of covers that little hole up. She lo loves this um, pillow. So there's her little basket. There's her other basket. So I think I don't really know what basket Annie means. She probably means this one here so she can put all of her bits in. So that is all of Emma Jane's stuff, isn't it? At the bottom of her head. Yeah, because then just her her beside me cot just goes in there. So this is her beside me cot that she's got. It's an old old fashioned cot that I've got at a charity sh charity shop and re um, painted and added a little motif at the end and there's a little trolley thing I mean she just has babies, babies, babies galore so there's always baby stuff everywhere right there we go that's all the beds ready the next thing is just night time yay Yay, aunties, you've been with me for ages sorting these beds and that out. So, um, 
Oh, I haven't put the... I was going to put that one in Polly's bed, seeing as she's underneath the Peter Rabbit stuff. So I was going to put that one in Polly's bed. And I've got one of these pillowcases for Toby's bed. Let's do that. And then uh, I've got the one to go in Polly's. And I'm pretty much done. Well, I am done. It will then be bedtime. So I will film bedtime because somebody said oh, it would be lovely to film all of the babies in their beds. It's a long time since I've done a PJ or bedtime thing. So um, I will, I think I will do another one of those. Let's just get Polly's pillow. And do hers. And then Frankie will be home and it'll be tea time. <laughs> so there we go. Frankie's at friends tonight, so it didn't matter if I was a little bit long. So I just got normal size pillows after all that because they were on Amazon. Four of these white ones for seven pounds. And you've seen the price of the individual ones in Dunelm. They're a little bit too big, but it really doesn't matter for these for the kids. And so there we go. Right, beds are made and Oh, I've got to put that one in Polly's. So beds are made and we'll see you in the next video, aunties. Yay! See you in the next video and they'll all be in their beds and you can have a good old look. Thanks for watching, aunties, and we'll see you in the next video. In the next video will be the babies getting in their new beds. Everybody will be in their beds in the right spot. It will be like a bedtime video. And we will have finally made it to another day when the nursery is sorted out for now. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a ride it's been these past few videos. I really hope you've enjoyed them. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next.